Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Maddie and today I'm going to be talking about some plants in my collection that I'm feeling just super proud of lately. Um, they're not necessarily plants that are very expensive or that I've had the longest or that are necessarily the most beautiful looking but I'm feeling really proud of them right now and I want to share. So let's get started. My first plant that I want to talk about is this beautiful string of tears. And this is a little bit different from like a string of pearls because the pearls are more tear shaped. I don't know how to explain it, but it looks like like teardrops instead of like circles like pearls. And it is so long. Can I get it all in? Can you see it? That is how long it is. Excuse my unshaven armpit. I don't care. Um, but I've had this for almost a year now and I've never cut it or anything like that and I just want to see how long it gets. I love it. It's so cute. No fuss. I've never had issues with this. I had a string of pearls at one point and I actually sold it before I killed it because people are really into a string of pearls and I was like, you know what? You can take this problem off of my hands. But my string of tears is so beautiful and lovely and it loves me back. Uh, the next one that I want to talk about is my Peperomia string... no. My Peperomia Hope. Why did I call it string of some? Anyway, I have two little plants in here together and they're leaning a lot this way, which is weird because I rotate it very frequently, but there's a bunch of new growth coming off at the top. And the main reason I'm so proud of this is because I usually murder Peperomia in record time. And I've had these for like two or three months at this point and there is no sign of soon impending death yet. Um, of course, now that I say that, I'm probably going to kill them. I'm kidding. I'm not going to kill them. I'm going to do my best not to. But they're so cool. I love the shape of it. I love the like kind of very faint stripes that you can see in the leaves. I think they're very gorgeous and I'm excited that they seem to be liking me back so far as well. So there's that. Very proud. Proud of you. The next one I'm going to talk about, <laughs> it's kind of a sad story, um, <laughs> but I'm very proud of uh, it's come back. This is the Fetonia that my boyfriend gave me for Valentine's Day. And uh, Valentine's Day was during a very, very cold snap in Montana. It was like negative 40 degrees outside, like straight up, no wind chill. I don't know how cold it was with wind chill. Um, but he got this for me and murdered it with cold when he was taking it to his car after buying it and then bringing it into my house from his car. And Look at how much it's coming back. I actually talked about this in a video of plants that I'm murdering or something. I can't remember. But, you know, it's coming back really nicely. I'm very proud of it. There's new growth on all of the stalks that were originally in here. So, very, very proud of this. I hid it from my boyfriend for a while because I didn't want him to know that he basically killed a plant before he even gave it to me. But, you know, it's on the up and up. I've told him about it. We've, we've come to terms with it. I've nurtured it back to health. And by the end of this year, it's going to be a lush, beautiful Fetonia back to its red glory and sassiness, I'm sure, because I've heard Fetonias are sassy when it comes to being underwater then they like wilt a bunch in the water and they perk back up so anyway I'm excited for that the next plant that I'm actually I'm gonna save that for the end because that's the one I'm like the most proud of the next plant I'm going to talk about is another one that I kind of bought brought back from the brink I talked about it in my emergency repot video and that is the jade plant uh, I think it's technically called crassula ovata that I got from the free table at work <laughs> and this was not happy when I got it. It was so, so thirsty and all the leaves were really wilted, but it was in too big of a pot to where the water would actually just fall down into the bottom. Anything, anyway, I ended up repotting them into a way smaller pot together and there's all of this new growth on here. Hold on. So these two leaves are new and even this morning there's these little things down there coming out that I didn't see yesterday. There's this over here that's new, these two leaves up here that are new, and it's starting to get some beautiful sun stressing on the edges and everything as well, being in a west-facing window. It's so happy. It tells me when it's thirsty. It gets a little wrinkly and squishy, and I know to water it. And then this was also with it, and this is just a leaf propagation. But look at all of the new growth that is coming off of this leaf propagation. I'm so excited. This is also getting beautifully sun-stressed, but... 
There's so much coming off of this and I'm just so proud of myself because I typically tend to struggle with more succulent type plants. I don't know why, I think I actually underwater them <laughs> and they die. But anyway, these are killing it, killing the game and I'm so very proud of them. The next plant that I have is one that people either have and it looks absolutely gorgeous and beautiful or people have and it looks kind of like a train wreck like mine. But you know, I'm proud of this train wreck and that is my Pilea peperomioides. And this freaking plant, um, for the longest time that I had it, I've almost had it a year, for the like first eight months that I had this, every time it pushed out a new leaf, the bottom one would die. But now it's just pushing out new leaves left and right. It faces this way towards the light. I gave up on rotating it a long ass time ago when the leaves kept freaking dying on me. Um, so now I just leave it alone, leave it in this pot and I don't rotate it and I water it when the leaves get really like floppy like and it seems really happy. All the leaves got way bigger. This one came out kind of not great from the unfurling process. But there's a new one unfurling right here. And I can see some little babies trying to grow on the stalk. So I'm hoping one of these days this thing pushes out some babies for me because I want nothing more than to be a Pilea grandmother. Um, I <laughs> struggled with this plant. We hated each other for a while. There were times where I thought about getting rid of it, but I love the way they look. They're so funky to me. And it's one of my favorite plants, even though it looks weird. And like from the back and side, it's just, underwhelming but I love it and I'm so proud of it and I'm so proud that it's keeping its bottom leaves and yeah it just keeps getting happier and happier like the leaves keep getting bigger and bigger the one, new ones that come out they keep growing way bigger so like this one is so big compared to this one down here which is its oldest leaf and I'm just proud of the progress that we've made I've learned how to successfully take care of it I think I don't know and then the last one that I am the most proud of, I can only claim some credit for. The rest of the credit goes to my friend who runs an Etsy page called Little Bird Studio. It has nothing to do with plants, but you should check it out anyway. And she also has a YouTube channel, which I will link somewhere, um, about her Etsy store. My avocado tree. I gotta zoom out. Is this far enough out? Okay, my avocado tree. Um, that I got from her in a plant trade when she gave it to me It was just this stock with like Two or three leaves on it, but it's put out all of these big big leaves here up at the top And I am so so freaking proud of this thing um, It's actually ridiculous and unreasonable how proud I am of it uh, When I got home when I got back to Bozeman from going to Colorado, which I did a couple weeks ago um, my roommates did not properly water this and it was super duper wilted and all the leaves were like pressed up against the stem and it was so wilted and I kind of went through a panic attack because I was like what if I water it and it doesn't come back and my boyfriend was like it'll be fine I was like no it won't <laughs> but it was fine it, it came back <laughs> and yeah I kind of slacked on rotating it for a while and that's why it's got this curve but I'm way better about rotating it now and I'm so so proud of it I doubt it'll ever bear fruit but I don't care um I love it and I have Robin to thank. So thank you, Robin, if you're watching this. But yes, this is probably the plant I am the most proud of. Um, maybe other than my string of hearts, which I guess I should also grab. I said that was gonna be the last plant, but I lied. Uh, one second. This is my string of hearts. I can't get it all in frame. I'm very proud of it. Um, it's not the longest string of hearts ever, but that's because I keep chopping it so that I could propagate and sell some uh, cuttings and just share some cuttings with other people. But I'm really proud of it because it seems to be doing like really, really well. The leaves are super duper silvery, which means that it's getting excellent light. Um, I love it. It's gorgeous. It's the most expensive plant that I own. Um, and we go way back to November. Not, obviously not way back, because it was only like November or December, I can't remember for sure. But yeah, I love them. Uh, one of my favorites and one of my most proud possessions. So those are the plants I'm the most proud of. Uh, let me know if you have some plants in your collection that you're incredibly proud of, even if they maybe don't look super amazing, you know, like my pot of basically dead Fetonia. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next plant video next Sunday. Bye.